Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. That is my part. And as such, as such, I expect that at a political level, we must be able to debate different ideologies to say, from our point of view, this is the, this is the policy that we would push. From our ideology, this is the this is the this is the the, 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 the policy that we would we would we would push, or this is the way we would handle this matter. And where we need to unite, where something is of a common goal. I mean, all of us, we should unite. I think it is, should be a common goal for all of us that we revamp the economy of this country. It should be a common goal. It should be a common goal. Unless otherwise, I don't understand. I, th I think all of us, we want our economy to be better. All of us. We all want our economy to be better. So if we want our economy to be better, why can't we work together on that, on that issue? Why can't we work together on the initiatives that will make our economy better? Of course, different policies, I mean, we might want to take different paths and so on and so forth. But there are certain factors that we cannot run away, that in spite of which way you look at it, you would have to, uh, you know, you would have to tinker or you would have to engage certain uh, policies or certain stakeholders. If you talk about revamping our economy, we all know that at the moment what we are grappling with as a country is high debt. That is a, that's the issue. That is the issue. We are struggling. We have got so much debt. And we are also looking at how we can make the money. Because when you have debt, the solution is to make money so that you can pay off the debt. That is the solution. So... I think we should be able to agree, first of all, to say, on the issue of debt, we need to pay. If we need to pay, I mean, uh, we have deadlines. Which deadlines, I mean, are so close that if we don't negotiate, we might end up defaulting. There is no any other way. It doesn't matter which government will be in power. It doesn't matter which president will be in state house. The issue is that we are already owing and as we are owing the debts for us to start paying or to settle our debts our debts are adieu adieu so the best the only thing that we can do since we don't have the money is to negotiate this one this one i don't know how many people will will think otherwise I don't know how many people who have a better solution other than the issue of negotiating. Because whichever way you can talk about, no, let's increase taxes, let's see whatever, whatever, whatever. If you can negotiate your debts, that whatever money that you are coming, that you are having, you can use it for something else, even if it is to invest it, so that it can yield some more profit, and then you pay off your debt even better. So I, be, I want to believe that as a country, one of the solutions that we should not uh, argue about, one of the solutions where we can be able to support the ruling party is the issue of renegotiating our debt, restructuring our debt. I don't think we should, we should decide, we should, we should fail to agree on this. Because even your PF, when you were in power, you were also trying to negotiate. You even ended up paying a consultant. You hired a consultant so that they can renegotiate. This government has got some goodwill with the Western countries. They have got some goodwill with the Western countries. 
and they have they have they have moved at least in that direction they have service level agreements with the IMF for example they are struggling with you know renegotiating the the debt with our creditors that is where the struggle is certain parameters are not being met certain things are not giving our creditors the confidence and those of us who are Zambians, who are patriotic, should be able to stand and argue on behalf of the government, on behalf of this country, to give reassurance to those creditors. We're supposed to do that. Here I'm not being a mshanina wali, I'm not being a mouth for hire, I'm being patriotic. I'm being patriotic. All of us, we should try as much as we can to, uh, you know, give that confidence to our creditors. All of us must be able to show that we are committed. That we are committed that, yes, even me as Shrifatayali, president of economic party, if you voted me today, I'll come and do exactly what HH is doing. That will give the creditors confidence. That will give the creditors confidence. That will give the stakeholders confidence. Because it will be an, a national agenda. It will be a national agenda. Not where you are looking at it to say, if me, I come into power, I will not whatever, I will not do like Haka Inde Ichirema is doing. You are busy laughing at Haka Inde Ichirema. But as you are laughing at him, what solutions do you have? Those of you who have been busy posting to say, hey, creditors have dismissed the, the, the bonds, they don't have the confidence, they don't trust us, whatever, whatever. What solution are you offering? Apart from busy spreading that news, that negative news, what solutions are you offering? What solutions? You are busy celebrating this. Why are you celebrating this hiccup? Why are you celebrating this head? Why? Are you trying to fix Haka in the HLM? Yes, of course. I mean, usually we say, because if we, if Haka in the HLM fails, then we have a better chance of being voted because we, we, we will come out like, you know, we, we know it. But this is where the problem comes in. This is where I differ with a lot of you politicians in this country. Where even you people who get disappointed. No, why are you not supporting this one? Why are you not supporting this one? Because some of these people, I mean, they don't have, they don't have an alternative. So even if you celebrate that Haka in the HDMI is fading, eh? Hey, they were celebrating whatever, whatever, debt restructuring. Hey, what has come out of it? You are happy. But, okay, fine. If Haka Inde Ichirema loses power in 2026, what is your solution? What is your solution? If Haka Inde Ichirema, who seem to have a good will, who seem to have some good will from the Western countries, he fails, what about you? How are you going to succeed? How are you going to succeed? And, and this is the question that Reasonable Zambians, I wish I could speak to reasonable Zambians. Reasonable Zambians, if Haka in the Ichirema fails this IMF deal, tell me who will be able to succeed. If he fails this debt restructuring, if Haka in the Ichirema fails it, who in our country, tell me, give me a name to say this one is going to fix it, who? Why do I say this? I say this because Haka Inde Ichirema, I think so far among the leaders that we have, is the man that has enjoyed the greatest goodwill in a long time. In a long time. When did we last have this goodwill as a country? When did we last have it? I remember it is in the 90s. I know you can talk about to say, no, 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 IMF doesn't sort out countries, IMF they mess up and whatever. Agreed. Agreed. But what choice do you have? What options do you have? At the moment, what options do you have? And if Haka in the Ichirema fails, if this government fails to sort out the, the, debt, the debt issue, me, I am challenging you to say, can you tell me which party, which leader is able to do better on this, on this issue? Or if not on this one, which party, which leader has an alternative solution to our debt mountain. Which one, which leader has solutions? 
which party has solutions and how is he going to do it? So this is, this is how we shoot ourselves in the foot. And um, I, I pray that some Zambians can open their eyes to see which self, who is a selfish politician. A selfish politician is one who does not look at the interest of the nation but himself. And we have so many of these leaders who do not look at the interests of the nation but themselves. That selfish, egocentric kind of attitude whereby I should be president. The purpose and goal is not about the country. It's about me being the president. It doesn't matter. It may not even have the solution. It doesn't matter. As long as I can be there, as long as Haka Indeshima can go out and I come in, that's it. That is the goal. That is the objective. And these are the many politicians that are very talkative on, on our platforms. And this is where we differ. And this is where some of you call me to say, no, you can't oppose, you can't criticize your fellow opposition. No, but I don't agree with them. I don't agree with them. No, you are a mouth for hire. No, forget it. Forget it. I don't want to be a beggar. I don't want to be a beggar. If this country is doing well, I can do very well. I don't need somebody to be giving me handouts. I want this country to develop. I want this country to be, to, you, you, you know, to be economically sound so that I can make money. I am very intelligent. I've got very good initiatives of business. I've run business. I run business. I can make money. But how am I going to make money if there is no money in the economy? If there is money in the economy, I'll be able to do this and that and get the money. But now, even if I, I do what and what and what, and yet there is no money in the economy, I will not get anything. At the end of the day, I suffer and I need somebody to bail me out. There is no dignity. No one is proud of begging. No one is proud of begging. No one. No one is proud of lacking. There is no pride in, in poverty. There is no pride. But no one among my friends, rich as they may be, no one can really make me comfortable. No. No one can make me comfortable. They can give me money today, but tomorrow I'll still need to survive. The only sustenance I can have is to be able to do some, to engage in some income generating activities but even if i have the good initiative of these income so-called income generating activities if there is no money in the economy i can't make money so for me haka in the as much as i may not even like him as much as i may not even like him he's not even giving me anything i'll talk about these things tomorrow i'll talk about these things tomorrow but at least I can look at him, I look at him to say, this is the only guy that has got doors opening for Bazungus. Eh? These Europeans, when they see Aka in the they are just opening doors. They are just opening doors. They are opening doors. Which president, which president? And some of you even talk about, hey, Aka in the is moving too much, whatever, whatever, whatever. Frankly speaking, I mean, let the man move. Let the man move. Let the man move. Let the man move and cultivate more healthy relationship. Of course, money doesn't just come there and then. You don't just visit a country, meet you know, the president of, 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 of Italy, and there and then money comes. No. You need to cultivate a relationship. That's how it works, even on a personal level. You know? Who? Where do you meet a friend and there and then they, they, they shower you with money? No. They hear of you. Oh, I've heard of Chilvatayad. They hear of Chilvatayad. Oh, they hear of Chilvatayad in Zambia. When they're in Zambia, they will call you. Ah, Chilvatayad. Oh, when they meet you. Oh, they call you, they meet you. But anyway. Ah, oh, this is Chilvatayad. Oh, how are you? Oh, fine, fine, fine. They engage you. They engage you. Is this a guy that I've been hearing about on social media? Is he really the guy? Is he the same in person? 
And once they, they have that confidence, then the money will come. So even this issue of these travels that you talk about, travels, 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 I mean, you are just being too basic. You are being too basic. You are being too basic. I don't think Haka in the HDMI, I've said this, I don't think Haka in the HDMI is excited to jump on a plane. I mean, if me, poor me, eh, as poor as I am, I am already tired of flying. I've been flying. Just for me to go and see my in-laws back and forth, back and forth, I am tired. I'm not interested anymore. A plane is not an excitement. If a plane is not an excitement, for me, Chirufa Tayari, what about Haka in the HDM? What about Haka in the HDM? Do you really think Haka in the HDM wants to fly, wants to be on eight-hour journey in the sky there? There is nothing in the sky. It is just an excitement. But when you are up there, you are in the sky. Nothing. You can't look through the window. You can't. Nothing. You are just sitting there. It's boring in the plane. As, at least for me. <laughs> it's boring in the plane. It's very boring. At least even when you are, you know, you are going by road. Eh? As you are moving, you see beautiful girls. You see nice vegetation. But in the plane, nothing. Especially if you are moving in the night. You just sleep. You sleep, you wake up. You sleep, you wake up. Then why? So what, what excitement is there? I think you are being too basic. Eh? You are being too basic. And I'm, I am choosing my words carefully. Eh? You are being too basic. Too basic. Umuntu, like that kind of issue. If me, 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 with, with, with the, I don't have money. Eh? I don't have money. To buy an air ticket, I struggle. Now, how can they each them? Are you telling me how can they each them? I can buy tickets. He can be flying every week if he wants. And then some of you, you talk about no, hey, hey, he's getting allowances. Nonsense. How much allowance? How much allowance? How much allowance do how can they each them? Right now, he has gone for four days. How much is the allowance? I think they are talking about. We talk about five hundred dollars. $500, Haka in the HLMA, are you telling me Haka in the HLMA is so desperate to get $2,000 $2, in, 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 in allowances? Because by government standard, I think that's what he should be getting. Because it's $500 per night. So $500 per night, he goes for four days, he gets two pin. Is that what we will make Haka in the HLMA so desperate that every day he will be flying on the plane? Come on, let us be let us be objective. Let us be critical when we are making these criticisms. I don't think Haka in the Ichilema would be would 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 want to go out there just to to get a two thousand a two thousand dollars. Come on, look at it. I mean, look at the man. Hmm? Look at the man. Not even at my level. I don't think I would want uh, to fly you. I mean, uh, uh, twelve hours. Eh? And then to get a two thousand dollars for what? I don't think I would be interested. So basically, let us let us you know appreciate our politics. Eh? Let us appreciate our politics rather than depreciating them. Whereby we start talking about two thousand dollars, two five hundred dollars. I don't think that is worth it. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.